everyone, welcome back to the channel, or if you're new to the channel, because I've had a lot of new subscribers lately, welcome to my channel. Hope you had an amazing week as usual. Last week's video has actually broken all kinds of records on my channel. It's really, really cool to see my videos actually getting some decent views again. Hopefully this is a sign of things to come. So because that video was popular, I'm back out on the street trials bike in Glasgow just to do what I'm good at, which is a bit of street trials. Now, instead of riding all the usual spots that I go to, I'm actually exploring a little bit and I found something here I've never seen before. A nice wee slope with a wall. So I'm gonna try a few things on this, test out my rope spokes again and these pinned pedals, give them some more punishment and see if they cope with another week's worth of riding. So let's chat, let's get on with it. Coming in hot. Gaps up to front wheel is a good wheel strength test and I've seen a fairly obvious gap from this wall up to that. It looks quite big but it's one of these things that might actually be a bit smaller once I'm on it so let's give it a try. I thought of a, a big old line here with a horrible gap into the stairs at the end. That's even if I could get this whole thing. The idea is burn up, up this box, gap to this, gap to manual, down to back wheel, gap into the stairs. If I can link all that up, I'll be happy. Oh, from the wet. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, it's annoying. Why does it have to be wet? So slippery. Right, modifying it. I'm not going onto the box with wet tires. Oh my god, come on. Mm.
Yeah. Well, that took a good few dozen attempts to get that one. That is a brutal one on the old wheel, but just had an inspection. Everything's holding up absolutely fine. Not only was that a test on the wheel, that was a test on these brakes, it was a test on the forks, it was a test on the bars, it was a test on my body. Gapping down to stoppy, that's pretty brutal move. So pretty pleased that it's surviving all this. Oh, time for a rest. Oh, by the way, a mid video plug, go and check out my Patreon for longer videos released when I make them rather than waiting for a Friday schedule. Plus they include some extra clips I don't include in the YouTube version. If you want to get some merch, head to AliClarkson.com. If you want to donate to the channel, just help, help me make these videos every week. I do have a PayPal link in the description down below. All right, let's get back to the video. There's a line I've done here before, which is just up this weird rail situation here. But for some reason, I've never spotted this gap to this wall. I don't know whether I've seen it before, just written it off as being too big or whatever. But today, I don't know, it's looking doable. That's providing I can get up this and get to the right position, but I'll try my best, so let's give it my best. Lots of students around here. Whoop. By the way, my bike is sounding a little bit creaky. I think I need to grease my headset or something. Needs a little bit of TLC. Ooh, oh, jeez. That's not nice for putting your feet down. Now I remember why this is so horrible. There's nowhere to drop the front wheel to preload. Well, the gap's certainly doable. It is from a really horrible setup right onto the corner of a wall, though. Maybe that's why I've never tried it. done. Let's see what this gap is saying. Not far off. If we can just get controlled on the top of there, might be in with the chance. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, just not quite in the right position to go for it. So close though. Oh, thing is, I haven't actually thought about what I'm going to do once I'm on there. Maybe just some kind of twizzle drop, as they're officially called. Ah! <laughs> that was the one though. The real difficult thing about this is I'm going that way, but I need to eventually turn the face going that way so I can do the gap. Normally I try and do as few hops as possible, and I guess that's not going to change, but I'm not going to be strict. There's going to be hops and I'm going to have to accept them. Oh, come on. Oh, why? Come on. That's the most set up yet. I don't know why I didn't go for that. I always end up a bit too steep. My body position isn't quite right to get the preload, but it's on, it's on. Oh. Haven't had a good crash for a while. Oh. Quite dramatic, a little bit painful. Could have been worse. Oh no! Oh, I would have scraped that, I would have taken that. Damn it! So it turns out gapping directly to the corner is terrifying. So as you can see, I kind of 
made it up on a spot going and turning slightly you just about fit on with a, a wedge so I'm going to try that again I reckon oh, I keep on spinning that's the issue as I'm hopping and turning when I go onto that final rail rather than just landing and stopping so I can prepare the gap I'm landing and the spin is still continuing which is really putting me off so I just need to get set up then go to the rail and try and stop that rotation oh, this <laughs> oh you're kidding me so I actually had a real nice comment on my last video where they said I seem to be really courteous of people walking and stuff I don't know what clip it was that made them think that but yeah it's true I don't want to annoy people I don't want to risk crashing, crashing into people so I always wait until the coast is clear that time I saw there was a woman walking exactly kind of in the line of where I was going to go I wouldn't have hit her but it would have spooked her and it was also distracting so bailed out Take that. Yes, there we go. <laughs> that was pretty scary, but that I'm so happy. I, can't, I don't know what to say. Happy with that. <laughs> Let's just say that. Oh boy. The annoying thing is, I didn't have the end on the camera then. That was one of the biggest like over spin 360 drops I've done for a while. Do I want to get another angle of that? Yeah, go on then. I'm more scared now than I was before. <laughs> Landed a bit front wheel heavy on that one. Bit of whiplash. Right, well the first attempt I did was a lot smoother than that. You'll have to trust me and look at the GoPro footage to believe me. <laughs> but I'm not doing that again because that was horrible and oof, that tested my wrists. Also tested my wheel, which again, absolutely fine. So yeah, seems rope spokes, no strength issues with these at all so far. <sighs> I think I need to have a rest for a bit. Ouch! Okay, so just riding by and spotted the line here. I want to go up to front, to front, to over. Now the dream line will be up to front, to front, to over, to manual, to then one of these blocks over here to drop off. I haven't looked yet to see how to finish this. I'm sure I could, yeah, just a simple drop, something off there would be cool. But the main thing is just an up to front, to front, to over. Hopefully I don't die. Oh, why is that so, so much harder to get set up on than I thought it was going to be? almost a little bit too short by the time you're on your back wheel and you go for it there's a chance your front wheel might actually go underneath it yeah a bit harder than i thought it's going to be whoa 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 <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> where do i put the feet found a neat 
manual 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 walk be rude not to give this a try Headwind. <laughs> Yo, there we go. And back down. Oh, side wind. You're kidding. Oh, the wind. Right at the bottom. Annoyingly, one thing I really wanted to do today was a hook on a specific thing which is or well, used to be over there. Unfortunately, they've now demolished some really nice lines, some hooks up by the uni up here, which is really annoying. We've gone and taken them away, replaced them with some rubbish. But I really want to do a hook because I haven't done one for a while and it's a pretty good test on the front wheel because you, you're literally hooking the entire weight through the front wheel to get up something. So we've got this wall behind me, it's not ideal, it's actually overhanging at the top by a couple of inches which is yeah not ideal and I can't see if there's any people coming so I'm gonna have to hope there's no one there uh, and just yeah see if I can send it. It's not the biggest hook in the world but yeah, don't think I'll get this first try. Overhanging. Oh, no. Scraped up that bit then. Obviously I'd like to get it up straight to back wheel to manual, do a trick off the other end, but I'll take anything I can get at the minute. I'm not sure if I mentioned this before, but a bit of chronic pain in the neck and shoulders, I still have it, and yeah, I'm hurting quite a bit right now. So yeah, that's gonna be it. Hope you enjoyed it. Like I mentioned at the start of this video, please check out my Patreon, my merch, and if you want to donate my PayPal link, all of these things down in the description below. But yeah. I'm stoked my front wheel is still holding up absolutely fine. I've been fairly brutal on it today. The gap down to front wheel, the hook, some of these things are, yeah, if you've got a weak wheel, it won't survive. So I'm really pleased to say it has survived. I'm also still getting on really well with my pinned pedals. Like I said with the last video, I kind of forget they're there, which is yeah, what you want a pedal to do. You just want it to get on, do what it's meant to do and not give you any issues. So yeah, pleased to say getting on really well with those. I've really enjoyed making this video. The only thing is I've parked quite far away. I'm really tired and I've got to ride all the way uphill to get back to the car. <laughs> oh well. Anyway, I hope you guys have an absolutely amazing week as usual and I will catch you next time. I have a bike build planned, whether or not it will work out, we'll see, but if not, I'll get back out on the streets and entertain you no matter what. So take care everyone, bye bye.